Hello everyone, Exedra here, bringing you episode 7 of Galactic Science, a mod pack by Kathleen. So in the last episode, we moved a lot of things around in the base, and we started doing a lot of cleanup and a lot of setup, but we never finished the uh, lava tank setup. I'm just trying to rush things that I'd visualized that I needed to finish, and I took note. So I wanted to move that there, I wanted to get rid of this right here, and move it here. And I wanted to bring this tank over there to finish emptying the system. Perfect. So now this is going to be emptying of lava. And while it's emptying of lava, I can just work on a couple of things. Okay, so today, probably won't get many quests done today, if any at all. Because today it's all about finishing this setup. Maybe we'll do one quest. I have a very specific idea of a quest, but we need to start getting resource. We need to start getting a ton of resource because that's really our biggest limiting factor right now. Although in the last episode, we got a lot of decomposition and a lot of material uh, be because of the quest, but still, this is going to last me one or two episodes. I need to be ready by the time uh, I need to be ready to move on. So I'm just waiting for this to empty. It should empty fairly quickly because I want to bring it over there. And while I'm waiting for that, let me just grab all of the subsidian and start breaking it down. And I'm going to get rid of this because I'm going to need a lot of things today. I would like also to set up my farm if possible um, because on the moon, things don't grow super fast. To be fair, you know, I've heard a lot of complaints about OGMs and how they're dangerous for your health and whatever. But now that the planet's destroyed, I have to say that I'm glad that there are OGM because without OGM, how would I be able to grow stuff on the moon in the cold with no air? So that's probably what's saving my ass right now. So that was OGM that everyone's scared about. So let me get eight glass and I want to get five glass paint if I can. I don't know, well, not five, I'd like to get 13 for real, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. 10, 11, 12, oh. is that eight? 13, yes, ooh, okay, so we're lucky today. And now that this is empty, I'm gonna grab it again because I'm sure there's still some lava in those, uh, like these things, they hold a lot of lava. So let me bring it over there and make sure that this is fully empty of lava. See, I knew there was still some left in there. And if I look in it, there's no more. Oh, see, there's still some, just a little bit, but there's still some in there. I'm going to break this down. And, okay, and lose that piece of lava to an obsidian that's going to stay there for pretty much forever. What I wanted to do is use a bucket and get back the lava, but I guess that's not possible today. Now with this, we're going to be able to make the setup a little bit bigger. We're going to add one right there and we're going to uh, right here and the tank goes there and we're able to set one there. Oh, and let me grab a bucket of lava ASAP because I need one under here and every second one. So another one here and I'm going to put this transfer node right here. So now lava is flowing through and we are now making a lot of lava and bringing it all here so we should be all good. Perfect. So what I wanted to do with these, I need some more relocator. So let me make two more sets of relocator, not three, two. Let me make two more set of relocator like so. And these I need to keep to make some more lava tank. I just want to make sure that I'm always, I'm, I always have lava when I need it. So one, two, three, four. And the way you make lava tank is with five pain like this and four obsidian around, which makes you two tank. And with these two tank, I'm going to put one right there. Oh, one right there. So this is going to distribute the lava between here and there. And this one is all being used into making this. Oh. How did it connect? Oh, probably because of the, oh, where did you go? Perfect, right here. Okay, so now we can move on with the next step. The next step is making more of these, but to make more, uh, sorry, more sieves. But for more sieves, I need more string. And let me just check quickly. Here's what I wanted to do. Right now, I cannot see outside. 
I never know if it's getting uh, night or day. And we want to go outside to do a little bit of work, but we can only go outside if it's the day. So here's, oh, not this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to break open a line right here. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put this quite clear glass because it it's beautiful. You can see through it beautifully. And oh, it has two advantage. So I'm going to show you the second advantage. You can break it and not lose the glass because it's not a standard Minecraft gra uh, glass. It's now a modified glass. And this will let me see outside how clear it is. And I think we're getting close to being able to go outside. While we're waiting, I'm going to craft a little bit more uh, nodes because we're going to need, not nodes, sorry, um, transfer pipe. So let me make two sets of transfer pipe like so. That's why I had the extra glass. And now let me grab some stuff. In here, I need nine of these. I'm going to grab nine of these. I'm going to need some dirt. I'm going to need some sand. Do I have any sand in here? No, I have no sand whatsoever, so let's make some sand. I want to make 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sand. So 12 sand, I get 4 sand. Uh, each one of those is 1 sand. So I'm going to need, I'm going to take 14, because with the rest I'm going to make the dirt that I'm missing. So let's decompose all of that, and once all of that is decomposed, I'm going to restart the uh, water, pr the hydrogen production. So let me get in here, and now let's create some sand. One, two, three, four. Uh, four here, four here, four here, four here. I'm not even using the book because these are recipe that I know by heart so much that I don't really feel like I need to bother. And like I told you guys, I'm going to restart the hydrogen production ASAP. Because if I don't restart it, I feel that my power is going to go down the moment I start using three of these. So let me put this in here. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. And now I'm going to make some dirt. And I need 24 dirt, I said. So that's 19. Now let's click it like that. This way I'll see it. And 24. Perfect. So now I'm good to go with that. I'm also going to be grabbing these two wooden chopper that I made and I obviously want more than two. I didn't make enough so I'm going to make the other ones and I want six. The reason I want six is I want to create six farm. You're going to see why and this is like very important for automation. So I need four more farms. Let me get four furnace. Let me get four chest. So, so that's that's not four chest. That's way more than four chest. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to need to craft some uh, hose. And no, I don't mean those kind of hose. I mean the kind of hose that you use to till the the soil. So like this and like that, and I'm going to create one, two, three and four, and now I can just play around with space. And four here, and let's do this. And those are all of the, oh no, I need to make them separately. So this one, and that one, and that's, that's four. That's perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. With the extra two that we had, that's six. Okay, so let's go upstairs and see if we can go out already because we need to uh, get our string to continue. Let me break that and open the door and we're going to need to kill a couple of mob. These spiders, and that's where the automatic killer would be very useful. Ooh, and I'm dying. I should eat before I go out. I was going to be taking an unnecessary risk and maybe completing that first quest line if I was going to die. I don't intend to die on purpose, but if it happens, it happens. Let me continue killing these. I always surprise that they can't fit through the door, but they can still hit me when they're a bit close. So this is very thrilling gameplay. I'm just trying to get rid of these things. And if I had the killer set down, probably would be killing them faster. Although I do not know the range of the killer in height. Oh, I broke my... I broke my axe, so I need another axe right now to continue killing. No, it's going to go much better with an axe. 
Oh boy, so many spiders. I just, just want to go out and play. Itsy bitsy spiders gotta die. Wow, finally one, and that's two. And I wonder how many more. There's four more. Come on. So unfair. Come on. I just want to... <sighs> so, that's going to be 20 minutes of gameplay killing spiders, and then 5 minutes of gameplay of setting things up, I think. Come on, spiders. And you know what? I'm just going to go outside, because then... They're going to be running after me, and while they're floating in the air, they're so much easier to kill. And if I don't kill that one, you can know for sure that it's going to come after me when I'm least expecting it. Perfect. So these are all taken care of. Oh. This one also. And this one doesn't care about me. Good. This one is trapped. Let's kill it easy. Another one right there. And I'm not going to take any chance, because you know what, if I don't kill that one, well, that one's the one that's going to kill me. And see when they're flying, they're so easy to get. I should always go out quickly. Perfect. So now, let's make... Let's make a crook. Come on. Give me the crook, and I'm going to say, I don't need that. Oh, I don't even have any place to get my string. Alright, let's go make a little bit of space, and I don't know why I have all of this jungle wood on me, so let's just get rid of the jungle wood. Oh, and a pizza! If you guys don't know what these are, these are the Domino Special from Nuclear Craft, and they're pizzas. And they're amazing, they restore a lot of health. I'm going to be breaking down all of these trees, because I'm not going to keep them there, that's where my farms are going to go. But before I do anything else, I really want to finish setting up my automation. So the moment that we have 36 string, I'm going to go back in and make my two, um, my true extra sieves. So 15. And let's break this one. 19. And probably have enough if I look at what flew around, but I'm going to need to take these out anyway, so... Let's just finish taking down that whole tree, and I'm sure I'm going to have my 36. So we're going to create two more sieves. And the reason we're going to create two more auto sieve is that I want to be breaking down gravel, because that's how you get more iron and diamond and gold and silver and all the other resource. But I also want to be breaking down uh, moon turf, because that's how you get redstone. And I want to be breaking down moon rock, because of the iron meteor, like... All in all, these are the three type of resource that are going to maximize our production and make sure everything goes smoothly. So let me take all of this. And you know what? I'm just going to break until this breaks so I can grab the wood. Because this has maybe 20 more use, and that's it, and we should be good. So let me finish up with that, and let's go to, to do some more crafting. We're going to need to grab a couple of things. Uh, let's go. Perfect. Okay. Now I can grab the wood. Perfect. We need this wood because the sieves, they are made of that type of wood. If you don't have that type of wood, you cannot make a sieve. In my other playthrough, I tried making a sieve out of dark oak wood, and that didn't work for me, or jungle wood either. So let's keep 36 of these. And then I'm going to need two glowstone, and I'm going to need... Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the pizza and the ice for now. I'm going to need four nuggets. And I'm going to need eight pieces of that type of wood. So let's show that in. And we have everything, so we should be able to make the crafting. Let's not even go out. Let's do it all right now from here. And once we go back downstairs, remember to pick up some oxygen. Remember to pick up some oxygen. I keep forgetting, and it's always catching up to me. I'm going to put these there, these there, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And voila, all of my auto sieves. Well, all of my. I'm going to get a lot more of those in the duration of my playthrough. But for now, all of the one that I want, I have. Oh, no, no, no. Give me those. Those are too important. Okay, so auto heavy sieve. I'm going to put one right here and one right here. And that's why I made some more, because I'm going to want to auto-input into them. I'm going to grab two better Haba Barrel, and put one on top of each. 
Hmm. Nope, that's not where I want to put it. Oh, I need to finish the floor. I've been keeping it for a time lapse, but I have so so much things to say and do that I end up never having time for a time lapse. But for sure, I'm going to need to do it pretty soon. Okay, so that one's there. Am I going to be lucky? What if I put it? Yes! No! Let's put a sand down and let's do it proper. It's always a, the thing that you try to save time on that end up costing you more time. Perfect. So this is all done. Now I'm going to need some gravel and some moon turf. Here's, I'm going to show you quickly how you do that. This is like something important to know. I'm going to break down 32 and I'm going to turn this back off from hydrogen and oxygen. No, like this. Let's break this all down. So gravel, we already saw. I'm just going to do it one more time and show you. Gravel super easy. It's basically one right here and voila, you have your gravel. So I can always put gravel in here and gravel in there. And I'm just going to lock this drawer. Perfect. But now it's not extracting. I'm going to need to extract, but I don't have enough redstone, which is why I want to do the moon turf. Now let me show you the moon turf well, while we're waiting. Let's make one more set of gravel like this. And should is this done? Yeah. So for the moon turf, you want to double decompose this, the obsidian once into silicon dioxide and a second one into silicon and oxygen. Let me put this in here. And the reason you want to do that is you can fabricate. Um, ooh, what's where's that moon rock from? Really, I don't know how I clicked my book into that, and all of those moon rock out of there. But that that was really special. Okay, so let me grab four oxygen, uh, three sets of oxygen. And you make moon turf like this. One silicon, three oxygen. Voila. So that's one stack of moon turf that I'm going to put in here. And that's going to be a second stack. So one, two, three, four. Uh, not four, just three. And I don't know why I count more than I actually make. And that's going to be another stack. And since the moon turf is what's giving me one, Two, three is what's giving me my uh, glowstone, uh, not glowstone, my redstone. In the beginning, it's pretty important because I need one more extractor here, one more extractor here, one more extractor for this, one more extractor for that. So I'm really looking into making four more extractor. And you guys saw how many blocks of redstone. So I have to admit that I'm very happy with my choice of uh, with my choice of selecting the four extractor because that was a very big boost you can already see how far behind i would be on extractors if i needed moon uh, to see more moon turf manually to be able to be at the point that we are right now so let me put that in and that's going to be the last set and we're going to restart the whole thing and we're going to be able to go into farms right now because all of these are going to be producing uh, some resource and hopefully when I come back from working on the farms I'm going to get to a point where oh, I'm going to get to a point where I have enough redstone to make uh, another extractor so see I have 22 right now I need 36 so I need 14 right here So I'm going to grab some cobblestone because we're going to start making the outside look a little nicer and let's I'm gonna grab four uh, three stacks so this one I'm going to transform into huge cobblestone tiles, this one and that one. Perfect. And I'm going to move this away. So I already know how I want to set my farm because I did it in my other playthrough. This is going to be a spacer and here's going to be water. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five water. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So all of this is going to be water or sand like this. And I'm going to need my wooden planter right here. And I'm going to grab uh, four, five, six, seven uh, ice. Not that I really need seven, but you're going to see why. Oh, and then 
this is going to be a spacer line and it's going to be one so here 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 and here and I'm going to have another one right here so now let's go from the flip side and I'll show you what it's all going to look like and we're going to start using this baby to break things out because it works in a five by five so five by five like that oh and I should have taken that line also I just wanted to show you exactly where things were going to go let me break this down and I'm using the slowest method possible I'm not being very efficient right now I'm just so excited and I have all of my ideas in my head so I'm going to do a border around I always love my farms to have a border around I just think that it's cleaner overall and I didn't do it around my tree farm but I'm going to add it at some point and now this is why I need to descend I'm going to put some sand like this this is going to be my sugarcane farm and for my sugarcane farm you need all the sugarcane to always have a block of water next to it uh, okay so I'm going to need a bit more water than I was but I still have my bucket so it's not going to be a problem so here's how it's going to be uh, let me just finish making my water all around so all of these blocks are in contact with water so now this is going to always work for that right here let me take the five by five this time and yeah I'm going to look into fixing that later for now it doesn't really matter I'm in the center so this is going to be my cactus farm now so cactus farm same deal sand 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 but I can't do a line like this because they can't touch each other other than diagonally so that's going to be my cactus farm oh give me that back now the next farm is going to be my uh, what's the next farm going to be my next farm is going to be the um, potato or carrot wow why do I have such a double clicking issue today this is kind of weird so let me break no okay I'm gonna have to go back out I should probably build a trap and a ladder soon so I can always come out of here when I need to and I'm going to do it smart ah okay so that was half smart not full smart okay perfect so now I need the dirt so I'm going to put the eight around like so so that's my potato farm or carrot this is going to be my carrot or potato farm depending on what the other was this is going to be my wheat farm and now the last secret farm hmm. 8 16 24 I don't know where the extra two dirts are from but anyway let's just finish this and here I'm going to get my ender pearl farm and right now I can't transfer it because I need to finish the other one growing and I intend of making this a nine ender lily seed but we're going to need to go in a lot of dungeon to find them but at some point we're going to take the time and go so I'm just going to close this up now and everything else we can do well almost everything else we can do from inside so if it gets to night we're going to be okay so I'm gonna grab one water and put it here I don't really have a choice because as you guys saw I broke one too many ice but for the others I can put the ice right there oh I had one ice too many Whew. okay maybe I should do better math that would probably help with my quantities okay so now I have everything for my farms I'm just picking these up as I go and let's go inside and fill these farm with stuff I'm just going to get rid of a couple of things right here and jungle wood sapling the ice I'm going to put here with the rest of the stuff uh, I'm gonna get rid of the dirt how can I make more space so I have one bone meal that's not genius carrots potatoes these I'm going to need a couple of those well 
I don't really need that many of those because I'm going to be breaking down all of those. And once the ender lily seed here is fully grown, then we're not we're going to move it. We're not going to move it before because I don't want to lose the time of growth that this has spent. Ender lily seeds take a very long time to grow. So let's go let's go here. I'm just going to do it like this quickly. I'm going to set this in here. Oh, I can't access the other and they're not even down. That's why I can't do that. And the reason I wanted to come here was to put my cactus, but I didn't even take the cactus seed. So now that I have the cactus seed, let's just put these two down and let's go downstairs. Um, wait, go in there. I don't know why it didn't click in there. Perfect. So now we can set things up from the inside. We're going to need to come back out to break the uh, ice. <laughs> break the ice uh, but for now great for now I can just set these like that and I wasn't expecting to put this in the wrong place I thought that my jump and put technique was up to par one here and the fourth one right there perfect now I need to put a hoe in each of those so hoes I'm going to need that's going to be two, three, four, five, six. Like this. Oh, and I don't even have enough spot for six. I'm gonna be able to make only three. Ooh, that's not true. Let me get rid of the moon turf and then I should be good. Yeah, I got my stick. So let's go. Oh, do I have, let me just check quickly because I started breaking moon turf. Yes, bone meal and enough to make another extractor. So before we go anywhere, let, oh, I can't make the extractor yet. I need some more. Hmm. I thought I was going to be able to save a little bit of time and make an extractor immediately. Let me dump this here and let's go set the farm. I really want to finish the farm right now as soon as possible. Okay. So break, and this is going to be the carrot farm. And this is going to be the potato farm and this is going to be the wheat farm and I forgot to put this in oh and I forgot also to have some fuel okay so let's just finish putting these in like so and I need one two three more and I already have one it's broken a little bit but it's not broken enough to warrant making another one so let's do this and I'll keep it for the ender lily pearl one because uh, the ender pearl, it, they don't grow fast enough that they need a hoe full time right now. So that right there and that one, oh, that one right there. Now we're going to go and get a lot of sticks. So one, two, three, four, five, six stack of stick if we can. And I'm already hungry. So let's eat before I go. And I like eating here because there, the cans flow off. And since there's like a an effect here, it usually grabs them pretty easy and they don't go flying so crazy around. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that I'm making more oxygen because I wasn't taking care of that and I kind of forgot again to refill them. So we said six stack of stick, two, three, four, five, six. And let's put them all in, one stack here, one stack here. And it should plant everything. By the time we go outside, we should see that everything was planted. And we'll just need to rearrange stuff. Oh, wow. This is just going in the wrong place. Uh, no, not rearrange everything. I mean, use a little bit of bone meal to finish filling the whole place. It just works better overall if your farm's full, usually. And right here. And I'm going to put the broken one right here. And the moment that my growth, my enderly pearl has finished growing, I'm going to transfer it there so that it's always going to be growing there. And 71%, it's really not growing, although I think it's one per day, and I haven't seen the day change in a while. And it's not working. Oh, okay, so I did forget one thing. I forgot that I need some upgrades. So I got nine upgrades here and I saw some downstairs. I have a vivid memory of seeing two or three, I think. Uh, no, or here? Yeah, four. Oh, perfect. So I want to make sure that the whole range is covered. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need, but I have some uh, redstone on me. 
So let's go here. So this is a good example. I want this whole surrounding to be full. So range three, five, seven, nine. Okay, nine covers everything. And this I need one. So it's one the center, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so I'm going to do nine anyway because it's in sets of two. So nine. And same for this here. One, two, three, nine. And I had enough carrot. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to keep one carrot in here. If you don't keep, I'm going to show you with the potatoes. You'll see. Oh, I can only. So I'm going to need none for there because I don't have the lily seed. I don't need to make it so much in advance. I'm going to need four for here and three for here. So four, five, six, seven. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's why I want to keep these farms being uh, wood. Um, one of my subscriber, and I should really go look before saying the name because I didn't note that down, told me that the uh, higher tier one goes faster. And I think they don't go faster for growing because growing is standard rules and mechanics. I think what it does, is it goes faster for uh, chopping. So the wood chopper here, having a diamond one would actually be good because even though the wooden the the axe stays a cobblestone axe it would cut the wood much faster i thought it was the axe that made the difference but supposedly it's the machine for how fast things get harvested so this is full i'm just going to force grow some potatoes because i want this to get filled and this is so this is already maxed and now it's harvesting the potatoes it usually would harvest faster if I had a better machine. But again, does it really matter that things don't harvest that fast when usually not all nine grows at the same time? Now I bone meal them and that, oh, I didn't want to do that. And I have one potato in, so perfect. So one carrot, uh, six seed here. I can leave all the seed because I don't use them. The potatoes is going to fill this with a stack of potato before it starts putting potatoes here. And the reason I'm only leaving one is that it's going to be easy to see if it started working. Because when I look into it, it's going to be more than one. Here there's no cactus. And you see, that's the message I don't like. Not ready, add seeds. I wonder sometime if the machine will or will not work because of that. But hopefully it does. And it's just a display issue. So let's go back in. We have nothing more to do up here. But it's going to bring us to an interesting problem pretty soon, and that problem is that we're going to need uh, we're going to need to automate the creation of stick and putting stick in those places because now it's going to burn a lot of stick. We already need stick for this farm. Then we're going to need stick, 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 all the way down. So we're going to, of course, automate fa uh, making sticks, just not right now. Now let's see. I have only 34 after my usage. Let's go see if, if I have more redstone here because you see this, these are no longer doing anything. So let me just refill them manually one last, hopefully one last time. Uh, and one gravel like this, perfect. And I have enough to make one, so let's make one, one, two, three, four. Oh, and when I went upstairs, I saw something that I wanted to grab. I saw a two empty upgrades not here here yeah two module base that I'm going to use instead of making some more oh stack upgrade that's good I'm going to use the stack upgrade you're going to see why so one of the problem that I was having in my test world is that my power setup works super well in the beginning and then once I make it into um, having four of these, uh, three of these, sorry, it started doing not so well. And the reason, I'm gonna automate this one first because redstone is more important at the moment. And the reason for that is this machine, at some point it gets full and gunked with oxygen because it extracts only one resource at a time. And now it's using this pipe for both oxygen and for hydrogen. I have a solution for that. It's called a transfer node. I don't care about the oxygen. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove that from the floor here, even though it's really cute. And I'm going to put it right here so that the oxygen gets extracted here. Uh, I need to make the filter though, and I only have three redstones. I don't want to overuse my redstone, but I don't have a choice. I thought I could get away with pre-filling it with oxygen or like emptying the first set of oxygen and the rest would work. But no, I do need the filter. 
So let me grab a string and now I should be good. So filter is a string for stick and for redstone around. Perfect, like that. And the way you program these item filters, you right click and then once it shows you the interface, you put in what you want. So now I need one oxygen to put in the filter and this is going to be filtered now. So grab only one oxygen, right click with this, put the oxygen in. Oh and I can put the oxygen back here and now I'm going to put this here and if I remove the hydrogen the oxygen is going to be removed from here and I told you see the oxygen is not coming out fast enough so stack upgrade that's why you want the stack upgrade because the stack upgrade extracts one stack at a time and moves one stack at a time so see no more oxygen and hopefully the oxygen should never go through this anymore because there's no oxygen connected so it doesn't know where to send it I'm going to put the hydrogen there and I'm going to also remove the hydrogen from here because, oh no, I don't, yes, I have an extraction, but it's at the bottom. So let's not take any risk. Let's go remove the uh, extraction node first. So going to remove the extraction node, like I said, always remove the node first. Going to grab that. I'm going to break these and oh wow, I never finished connecting these two also. Well, that's kind of bad. I didn't know that I'd forgotten to do that. So connect, connect, put the hydrogen here and like that. The only issue with putting it here is that now I won't be able to see if I'm running out of hydrogen or not. Okay, so because of that, like I don't want to ever run out of hydrogen. So I'm going to remove this, uh, break, oh, not break. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it back in the floor because that's the setup I really like. Like this, like that, and now let's jump and put this right here. And let's put back the extractor again. And now hopefully all these should be filling with hydrogen. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Yes, everything's back to 100% normal. And while we're here, let's you know close that floor a little bit. It's really getting annoying that I have this hole I can fall into all the time. Oh, it's not working because it's a barrel and when you try to click into a barrel it tries to put things into a barrel. Let me just finish all of this closing. I'm doing this as fast as I can so that we can move on to the next spot and also take a look at the time. Yay! Perfect! So now this is... This seems a little dark in here. So let's not take any chance. I don't want to have any spawnable rias. And one here, and one here, and one here. Seems better. Now let's break this, and that, and that. Perfect. So these are getting a bit more automated. They're not fully automated, but that's only because of lack of redstone. And when I'm telling you lack of redstone, I need 36 redstone to make the extraction node here. 36 redstone for another extraction node here and 36 redstone for another extraction node here and this is oh I have just enough so let me put the chest right there so this is how it's going to be extracted I'm going to extract from here and here for this one and that one and extract from here from for that one so now I have my really much better well automated setup there's nothing in there let's break that and let's get rid of this let's get rid of that Oh, I still have a lot of moon rock here. I don't know if I can craft moon rock, so let me just check. Yeah, oh, but it's too silicon. And maybe it's still better that I mine for the moon rock, that I'm not sure. But I'm not running out today, so it's not. It's a problem for later time. Let me just grab 32 obsidian and let's start breaking that down so that we can make more gravel. And that's what I want. I want another chemical decomposer. See, wow. Now this is really stacking up well. I'm, I'm no longer having any uh, power issue. The next issue that I'm going to have with power though, I can already see coming. And some of you might already guess it. My next problem I'm going to have with power is that this is going to get full. And once this is full, this is going to get full of oxygen. And then everything's going to stop because it's going to be gunked up. So I'm going to need to get into some void upgrade for the Jabba barrel pretty soon. And, oh, I have more hydrogen than oxygen? Oh, no, okay, Whew. that would have been crazy. But I'm not 
having any close to having any hydrogen problem anytime soon. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's make five stack of gravel. And like I told you, I'll be able to do a little bit of crafting, uh, of, uh, of um, quest. Well, a little bit. I'm just going to do one quest. Is this finished breaking down? Yes, so let's put that in. Let's get rid of that. We're going to accomplish one quest today because it's a very important one for me. It's one that I've that marks a like higher step to automation. Let me grab that and one, two, three. So moon turf again, make the moon turf and put that in here. Let's check into this. No, still not enough, only at 19. So the quest I want to do today, which is the next step for me of automation. Uh, why do all the work? It's stop hammer time. Even though this is affected by the low gravity of space, it can still be used to hammer down sieved product. And that's basically to start hammering down our metals so that I don't have to waste time using a stone hammer. So to make this, it's very expensive. Let me look into auto hammerer right here, but everything's about not wasting time anymore. So I need three blocks of iron, three blocks of iron, one, two, three. I'm going to take this out. Oh, one anvil and two sticks. I have 34 diamonds. Like, oh, okay. It's from the uh, breaking down session. It was like, how did I get that much diamond? That seemed way too much. Hey, voila, that used a lot of my iron but I now have an automatic hammer and I'm going to want to put the automatic hammer downstairs because it's a it's a process that's really not nice doesn't need to be seen let me break this right here and see if I have more power cable nope not here I don't have a single power cable left that's great but I do have aluminum ingot and I do have upstairs some um, some wool, oh, only four, but I can make some more. So four, eight like this. And I heard some mobs. So I feel like the mobs have started coming out again, although it's the day. So maybe there's a cavern around that I don't know about that I should explore to find. Let me make the string like this. And now I can make some more power cables like so. Perfect. Aluminum wire. And now I'm just going to wire it up a little bit more here and like so. And now I'm going to put the chemical synthesizer right here and the automatic hammer right there. And now let's extract everything from here and put it in the barrel. Uh, not the barrel, sorry, the chest. So chest, 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 that's all of that. And now this one here, let's put it all in here. What else? All of this also. Let's put all of this in here and we'll just start our hammer for the first time. So take this broken iron, take these fallen meat here. Oh, we still have some here. Oh, yes. And some more that I'm going to transfer over. Do I have enough space to take everything? Yes. So I'm going to transfer everything over here. Broken aluminum, broken copper, clay, silicon, lapis, coal. Do I have anything else? Yeah, the ice. Perfect. And now let's make all of this into broken iron into gravel. And the beauty of this, oh, that's a good number. And I have a couple in here also, two or three, I think. Oh, just two. So now I can put this in here and this is going to get done by itself. And it's not going to fly off. It's going to accrue here. So I'm not going to lose everything. And the beauty is that all of these can have some upgrades. And those are the next quest. Um, going to get the coal. I don't care about the rocket fuel. I have so much right now. And the quest is, and the reward is a spawn ball. Okay, not a great one again. So let's read the other two quests that I was talking about. More speed. These automatic machines are quite slow. I should get some speed upgrade in them. And I don't know how many you can put by machine, but you need to craft a speed upgrade and it gives you four. And the other one is fortune teller. Not enough luck? Need more fortune in your life? Fortune upgrades. More of everything. 
So again, I don't know how many you can put of those, but you get you make one and you get four. Here's the problem. Let's look at these upgrades. Upgrades, the, where are they? Um, here, the speed upgrade, it's Vibrant Alloy Nugget, Dark Steel Ball, and Redstone Alloy. So, Dark Steel is made in an alloy smelter. Basically, every part of the component, this needs an alloy smelter, these need an alloy smelter, and this one also. And the second one, the Fortune Upgrade, same thing except for the diamond. So, we're not going to be able to make any right now. We don't have the dash that we need. The dash that we need is on Mars. And for those who don't remember, let's just look at the alloy smelter quickly. And when you look at the alloy smelter, the machine chassis, you need four dash ingot. And dash is made from smelting unrefined dash that you get from breaking dash ore. So until we go to Mars to get some dash ore, we're kind of stuck on that. But now we're producing every type of material. The only thing is that this is not breaking down automated in our synthesizer, uh, another synthesizer. Our decomposer is tied up here into actually making... Um, our fuel so that's not super good for now one two three let's make some more oh I didn't take the silicon yeah they're there perfect and let's restart that just to make sure we're not running out of power perfect so moon turf moon turf now right after I'm done with that I'm going to tell you what the next episode is going to be about. One, two, three, and let's make some more moon turf. And I'm going to put everything in here. This is a 12, so better put some more right now. Until we have a way of extracting everything, I have to make be careful. 33, so close! Oh, I wish I could have finished the automation this episode. That would have been amazing. Uh, let me put that back in here, that back in here, that, that. I don't need to carry a bucket with me. Don't need all of those. Uh, don't need that. I don't intend on breaking resource anytime soon. Don't need the wood. Don't need the cobblestone. You know what? I don't need any of this. Let me just get rid of whatever I don't need right now. Okay. So let me check one last time because if I get... Oi. And I think it's just enough. No, I'm missing one. So you know what? I'm going to patiently wait here and this one's going to give me it. I'm going to get the 36th right now and I'm going to be quiet knowing that this, I'm going to be happy knowing that this is really fully automated except for the extract, but it's not going to fill fast enough for me to have to worry about this. Come on, give it to me. This is getting to be a long episode, like always, because I don't build my episode around a max amount of time. I build my episode around getting a certain result. And my result today was finishing fully the automation of sieving and putting up all of the farms. And I don't know, you, as I told you, I always end up my episode on my biggest accomplishment for the day. And I don't know which one to take right now. Perfect. This is beautiful. This is all perfect. This is all working well. We're going to have to empty this soon but not soon enough that I have to worry about it today. And look at this. We put, if I, uh, if I remember correctly, we put 16 plus 4, we put 20 in there. 20 or 21, and now we have 27 that we're going to break down again. <clears throat> so our resources are exploding, and we're probably going to make more than one automatic hammer later, but not soon. We're going to cycle everything through. And we're going to do a wonderful setup with sorting chest. <coughs> Sorry, that's the sorting chest setup is really something that I really love and I'm really excited to show you guys. So this episode, again, is about 50 minutes long, but it's worth it. There was so much information to put in there. Now, I'm going to go into a very short time lapse. And my only goal for this time lapse is to put the, the whole base on the same level. So I'm going to finish breaking all of this down. And I'm just going to bring the chest downstairs. Like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these chests and I'm going to bring them right here. And I'm going to have some kind of a working area right here. This is where I'm going to operate from for crafting. Like, I'm going to put the crafting table down here. I'm going to put the uh, cooking, uh, the furnace down there. 
And I'm going to try have a small mine chem area here, a normal crafting area right there. Uh, let me put this right there. And, you know, that's, that's going to be my setup for the short term. And everything that I do from there is going to expand on this. So, like I said, my small time lapse is only going to be for breaking down all of these material and making sure everything's perfect. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to end my time non-time lapse part here and I'm going to end my time lapse part if it's day on my farm so that you get to see a screenshot at the end of the episode of what was done in this episode so guys thanks for watching and I'll oh whew, false end sorry sorry one last thing I really forgot to tell you next episode this is what we're starting next episode we're going to start making as many of these machines as we can to start making uh, the getting to a rocket for Mars. It's going to take multiple episodes, but that's where we're slowly going to go because now we have automated resource, so this should no longer be a problem. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!